What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to the ladies of the faucet. My uh, analytics are showing that on YouTube, the amount of female subscribers that I have has gone up a little bit. I mean, it's still at like, I think 3% or something like that. But before it was like 0.5%. So the ladies of the faucet, the campaign you're doing, getting more and more women involved in drip, I think is amazing. Spreading the good word, getting people involved. I love it. Also shout out to Jonathan Rosario. If you're a drip YouTuber, you probably know who I'm talking about because he always leaves comments. He gives that dope content sign of approval. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for always supporting us. Speaking of support, if you could just take a quick second and hit that like button. Also, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It really does go a long way for me. All right, should go without saying that I'm not a financial advisor. Please don't take financial advice from me. So I want to go over uh, the profit that I had for the month of August. A tax bill that I got hit with made me realize that I needed to pull some profits uh, from some of these DeFi protocols that we're in. So I want to go over those with you. What I want to say is the way that I calculated these, the number that uh, the number that I'm, I'm going to show you is the amount of money that went into my bank account. So these aren't like like profits from each protocol and like that's the amount there's times that i pulled profits to buy something else but if i used money from one protocol to buy something in another protocol that's not marked on here this is strictly just money that i pulled right from protocol to my metamask my metamask to the exchange the exchange into my bank account i do think it's important to make sure you're keeping track of everything this is not that this is not keeping track of the profits from every single project. This is just money that's gone into my bank account. And of course, I just wanted to say that uh, I have not sold any drip or any assets in the drip ecosystem uh, to collect money to pay off the tax man. It's one of the reasons why I liked being a little bit diversified. Um, it's also one of the reasons, it's also one of the main reasons why I love drip and I love the animal farm is because you're gonna get to see just a little taste of, of how someone can make money from the ecosystem without selling the native assets. So without further ado, let's take a look at the breakdown. All right, so the four that I actually pulled money from the protocol to my MetaMask, to my exchange, and then into my bank account. Stake, Cairo, Piggy, and Avarice. Stake, of course, being the most amount, I pulled $850 from there. Now, what I like about Stake, I, I will say this, all right? Um, stake protocol, if we look at the, the chart, which is, does not look good. That is not a sexy chart. Uh, price is uh, down pretty low here. Uh, on the decks, it's a little bit higher. And this is what um, this is what I use um, because I I, will, I I do my selling right from here. Stake has been probably my number one play this summer uh, in terms of DeFi projects uh, because I ROI'd on this pretty quickly. And then I think June, I took out, I don't know if it was 500 or, or, or 1,000. Uh, I know July, I took out 1,000. This is after I ROI'd and I used that 1,000 uh, that I took out in July. I was buying nothing, <laughs> buying nothing but pigs uh, with the money that I was getting from here. And then this month, of course, getting the 850 out. So, you know, you can look at this, this price chart and I get it, it does not look great. You know, especially if you look at the bigger picture here. I mean, this is this has been this had its nice little run and it's just been, you know, bleeding since. But here's one thing I can say about stake. This may not look good. This protocol, which is paying out up to three percent per day, they have not changed one thing. Right. The devs have not come in and said, you know what, we actually did some calculations. We need to add a 20% tax onto sales, or we can only start paying 2% per day, um, or this, that, and the other. They have not changed anything. They have kept it exactly how it was since launch. They've stayed true to their word, man. Like we are so used to seeing these DeFi protocols come out and then just constantly changing everything. And they haven't done that. So I just want to give them credit, credit where credit's due. And uh, these guys are definitely um, keeping their end of the bargain in terms of uh, the mechanics and how everything is working because they haven't changed. Everything has been like pure profit for the last couple of months with this. So, all right, moving on to Cairo. As you can see, I had been, um, you know, basically every week pulling money uh, from Cairo this past month. Once I knew that I had that that tax bill um, and that I needed to take profits uh, from DeFi projects, 
uh, you know, Cairo is the one that I was like, well, I'm just, I'm going to claim every week. I was able to pull out 732. I put in about a thousand, I think. Um, so, I mean, we've, we've seen, <laughs> we've uh, uh, honestly, I mean, we've obviously seen, you know, what happened. Let's just go to the chart. It had been kind of cruising along at this 130, 140, and then, you know, it had that exploit. And then it's now it's just kind of like it, it bounced a little bit because the liquidity was all messed up. And now it's fine. It seems to be finding some level of support at around 71 cents. Although, uh, you know, I haven't I haven't been able to sell on Pancake Swap. Um, I have like 40 Cairo that I, I was trying to just see. Like I had claimed it and I was trying to see if I could sell. And uh, I can't figure it out. I don't know. Maybe I need to adjust my slippage, which was already at like 20%. But um, if any of you that are in Cairo have tried to sell and figured out a way to do it, uh, please leave a comment down below. I was really loving the, the the platform. I mean, I was loving the price action that I was seeing from this. And it's it's it sucks, man. Like, all right, piggy, piggy bank. This is piggy bank. All right, so I was able to pull $414 from my piggy bank. Now, you may be saying to yourself, like, wait a minute, I thought he said that he didn't sell any of his native assets from the Drip ecosystem and Animal Farm. I didn't. Let me explain. Here is my piggy bank. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm trying something. I'm, I'm letting these, uh, you know, I, I basically am compounding this one because this is the only one that I can actually deposit into. And I'm just letting these like build up. And then when these build up, I claim all of these. And then I use the LP that I get from all these and then just deposit it in here. Just so I can have one big fat one. All right, but anyway, so the way that I was able to get $414 without selling one pig it just has to do with the the pigs busd liquidity pairs and so some of you know exactly how i did this uh but for those of you that are still kind of familiarizing yourself with the animal farm the uh piggy bank is a platform you can use it's kind of like the drip garden where you basically are pairing up the pigs token with uh busd and you form a liquidity pair Right, so a pig's BUSD LP, so it's two two tokens smashed together, and you deposit that into the piggy bank. And basically, it's like you're staking it, and you earn yield in the form of a liquidity pair. So every time that I was split apart my liquidity pair, I would put the pigs in the pig pen, and then I would have the leftover BUSD, which I would then cash into bank account. What I had been doing for August was I was using the BUSD just to buy picks. And I think going forward, when I do claim from here, I'm going to use the BUSD probably to buy dogs or maybe to put in the drip garden. That's what's so amazing about, you know, this, this whole system is that it's going to get to a point people aren't realizing this, like people aren't getting that a lot of people are worried about the sell pressure. Uh, with the faucet, right? As more and more people come on, they're like, well, wait a minute, if all these people are coming on and the price goes up, people are gonna, people are gonna be selling thousands and thousands. That's, that's not the case. That's not necessarily true. There's gonna be people that are gonna be using the drip and locking it up. They may claim 10 drip, but only sell five, right? Which goes to BNB, which then can get converted to BUSD. And then the other five drip that they have in the BUSD, they can form a liquidity pair and throw into the garden, or they can throw it into the drip BUSD farm once the farm opens. A lot of people are gonna be doing that. And it's gonna lock up a lot of the drip that's in circulating supply. And the reason that they would do that is because then they get to earn pigs, which they then can stick into the pig pen. I mean, it's this this whole loop that, that goes on with money just moving around. It's super bullish. I can't wait. I'll try and do another video just on the animal farm and kind of how it all works, uh, because it's just uh, once once you kind of start to the, it clicks and you start getting like how it actually all kind of comes together, you, you're going to be mind blown. If you're still a little overwhelmed about the animal farm, don't worry, stick to the faucet. It will come. You will, after enough times, you'll start catching on to exactly what's going on. Faucet's king, so don't worry about it. So the last one is uh, 250 in Ava Rice. Uh, for those that don't know, the majority of the money that I have pulled from here has gone into, you know, drip, pigs. Um, actually, a lot of it's gone into the garden. Um, so for my BNB side, I put 11.1 BNB total into this. 
and I have pulled only 8.5. So I still haven't even ROI'd yet from this. I'm not even gonna get into the BUSD side because I got, I think most people have got smoked. I mean, I've made back about half of what I put in, but this has been, this has been fun. I'll just, I'll just say that. Like I've enjoyed this. I still kind of enjoy it because it's still, it can go on for as long as this is working. You just continue to recycle your tokens through and you're, you're earning dividends on it. I wouldn't necessarily recommend someone get into this now, but at any rate, um, I was able to pull uh, some money out of it to add to my August fund um, and 250 was the amount and uh, and yeah so there we have it this is my uh, numbers for August so pretty passively was able to pull two thousand two hundred and forty six dollars you know it's not like you know day trading where you know you have a uh, an underlying asset that you buy and then sell all of it and then that's it right like these are you know constantly producing cash flow so Anyway, I wanted to just quickly go over those numbers with you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's any protocols that you're pulling from and taking some money out from. And I know a lot of you are just 100% in drip, in the drip ecosystem, and I get it. I am excited about it. A lot of good things coming out. So anyway, be safe this weekend, everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next one.